However, Meghan was thrust into the centre of the news once again because of negative headlines about how she conducts herself as a boss. The reports claimed that those who work for Meghan are terrified of her, and it included quotes from a source calling her a dictator in high heels who belittles people and has reduced grown men to tears. So when we got the opportunity to talk to the current and former employees of the Duchess of Sussex and her husband Prince Harry, we talked to five staff on the record and another two off the record, and they say that the previous anonymous allegations made are wildly inaccurate and damaging. They reveal an unprecedented look into Meghan and Harry's work world and also their private world behind the scenes. All seven employees had a positive experience working for Meghan and Harry. Josh Kettler, who left in August, says he was warmly welcomed and they're dedicated and hardworking. Ashley Hansen, the global press secretary to the Duke and Duchess and the head of communications for Archwell, says her bosses couldn't have been more supportive when she had to take extended time off for a serious surgery. And Mandana Danyani, former Archwell COO, shares that some of her favorite memories were during weekly meetings in their Montecito home where Meghan always served the most incredible lunches and snacks. The seven current and former staff members describe a supportive and fun workplace that involves care packages, happy hours, karaoke nights, credit being given for great ideas, and everyday kindness. One staffer told us that their colleagues have been dumbfounded by these claims, saying the stories are likely made up by someone who's disgruntled. If you come for our bosses, we're coming for you. We're just trying to do good.